And this week in part two of our extensive GV80 test, we've got the diesel version, which is a three litre straight six. The GV80 with luxury pack. Luxury. So there's a few things that I want to point out. We're going to concentrate this time on the extra features that this has over the 2.5 that we had last week. Hmm. Most notably, it's all wheel drive. Oh, now we made a mistake last week too, didn't we? We did. There, there would be a spare wheel in each model. Whereas in the seven seaters here, yes. it's just a- Repair kit. Repair kit. Not a favorite, a favorite of either of us, I might add. I've never gotten them to have you ever, ever had to use it uh, no I haven't mm. I have had to replace a, a spare wheel which only went to 80k you know five times five times I've had to use it five times it's failed no. as I get closer to the car <laughs> the mirror unfolds you normally don't have to do the hokey cokey what I want to point out is that the wheels have gone from 20 inch to these absolutely gorgeous 22 inches. The Look at the pattern in that, and that is reflective. This bit of a cross hatch pattern is reflective of, and let me show you this, the grill. And that pattern is also on the LCD screens inside as the welcome. And the other thing that this has is the matte paint. $3,000 option. And what that means is that your car comes pre-faded. You can see there's no shine on it. Look at that. And it feels, it, it feels kind of rough to touch. And I've got to tell you, I like it. Do you like it? I, um, I think I like it as a long-term thing. When you see a car, I guess the initial thing is you, you want it to be bright and shiny, but this seems to have a presence that it keeps over a longer term. I, I, I'll ask me in a year's time, Alan. If we survive. But it's also got other things too, because as David mentioned, this is the seven seat model. So let's have a look at some of the controls and buttons that you've got to press. Can you press the buttons, please, Alan? Uh, well, what I'm hoping will happen is, and it seems to be working, yes. That normally, we have to have 55 goes of it. Mm. These are the buttons I'm talking about. So you've got lots of lovely lights and so forth. There's a power outlet, but look at these buttons. So if, that's the second row. So if I press that, the second row goes down. Press the other button, the second row goes down. And there's a third row here, look. You press the third row buttons. You could get quite, you could have some fun with that, couldn't you? So the main thing with this $10,000 package, David, is we've got the fully digital dash. It's got the cameras at the side. You might just be able to see that there. If not, we've got some other footage where I'm showing you. But the thing is you can't change the display like you can with uh, say Audi and so forth. So it's fixed like this. It just displays all of the things that you want to have for your driving display. Now, as well, we've got the heads up display. I've got a couple of different memory positions here for my seats. The front seats are electric as well. You can get a gentle cat's paw bum rub. And like you might say, that's a bit useless. It's very gentle because this has seven airbags inside the seat that's, that are gently stretching. On a long trip, it'll stop your, what do they call that when you're on a, on a plane? Deep veins thrombosis. It'll stop stuff. your deep veins from thrombosing. Down below, all of this is exactly the same until we get to the drive mode selector. The drive mode selector also has a terrain function, which then brings up on the dashboard snow, mud and sand, should you want to drive through snow, mud and sand on the way to your charismatic country cottage. Ah. Cozy charismatic country cottage as well. And as well, we've brought up the camera look. Mm. Uh, would you like to make a comment on the camera? <laughs> no, I, I, was I, was waiting. Waiting. I thought you were going to change something. Oh, oh well, I, 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 I was just going to turn it on. Uh, push the button to display the camera, press and hold to activate the parking system. So that's how you activate the parking system that we're going to show you right now. Press and hold the park button. 
right. and up on the thing it's telling me to search for a space. So I'm going to indicate left. It's searching for a space. It's not found a space. <laughs> Oh, it has. Alrighty, now. It's got to get enough of the forward vehicle as yes. well as the rear one. So take your belt off. Take my belt off. And I'll take this, put it in park. Okay. Right. What did you have to Had, press? Hadn't selected the parking type I thought I had. Right, let's try this from the top. It's having a little bit of a think about it here, Alan. Uh, well, I, was t I think it had got I'd gotten too far away from it, you see. Ah. Decided that's where it is. And look, the reason that was a little bit hesitant is because it kept moving out of my range. You really need to walk along with it while you're holding. And the idea is that it'll get itself into tight spots. The other thing too, of course, is that the Hyundai group, they've got a funny thing with their with their Apple CarPlay that only the non-navigation systems have wireless Apple CarPlay. All the rest you have to put a wire in. Down here, we've got the wireless. Oh, now that little that little bing bong then was the car telling me that the people in front had moved off. While oh, we're here at a dead end, why don't we take the opportunity for you to have a pedal? That would be lovely. I said pedal. <laughs> well, David, what do you think? <laughs> You've driven <laughs> almost three metres. <laughs> This, uh, the steering is uh, clearly sort of the electronic feel to it, but yeah. it's, well, it's still reasonable. Why don't I put it into sport and give you a sporty feel? There you go, look, you've got sports, you have some more throttle. And you felt the need to test that then, did you? Yes, yes, it's just, it, it, it's a big car, but gee, that just whooshes up nicely. Well, it's got a bunch it? of torque, and as you pointed out last time, it's got more torque than any of the other engines. And that's the thing that gets a car moving. That's what people, when people talk about power, what they're actually talking about is torque. Yes. And before we go, can we just talk quickly about the VFAX for this month? Well, actually for last month. Right. That MG is in it for the first time. In the top 10. In the top 10, yes. at number 10. At number but 10. it is only a whisker behind Volkswagen. Yeah, about three or four hundred out, out of five thousand, is it? Yeah. Or something, uh, more than that. So yes, it, it's there. It's absolutely rocketing up the scale. In fact, I had a look. The sales compared to last year, it's up two and a half times. And I think, David, if I was one of the Japanese car makers particularly, because there's nothing really entry level in the European models, I would be shaking on my masthead. It certainly emphasises a number of things, not the least of which price is very important, but it also says that the quality of MG has improved. You know, you are not buying a car uh, that is so cheap and nasty. You're buying now a car that, you know, certainly the later model, the latest models, are pretty competent. Yeah, uh, well, I, I think I'd still buy Korean over it, though. Mm. You know, there's there, there's there's nothing in China that comes close to this. Oh well, yeah, this the, the, they're not competing not. in this sort but of they super will be. luxury. They will be. I'm sure they will. So to round up, I do think that this luxury pack is worth it. I love that digital screen. I do like the 
uh, adjustable suspension too, but uh, I can take that or leave it because the standard suspension was very good. I love the heads-up display. I even like the open pour wood. Normally I put a bit of a stringe on that to close the pores up. It seems like stringe. Did you did you get the gag? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I gave it the laugh I thought it deserved. As always, if you've liked the film, leave a comment down below. Press like. But above all, uh, over, I think over here, to subscribe.